ladies and gentlemen welcome to the weekly review a little bit later than usual but that's because blizzard had eight hours of maintenance to put this patch up something that's absolutely unacceptable if you ask me but it is what it is uh, we are here a new week and uh, apparently a new patch right now with some quests that uh, you can entertain yourself with and pandaria remix coming the week after which, uh, in my opinion, is going to be much more interesting. Now, I'm starting here because uh, it's very important this week to pick up the quest from Kazra in the middle of Voldraken. If you do that, you and complete 4 Mythic Plus Dungeons, you're going to get 2 extra bullions. And those bullions, as far as we are aware, are not part of the limit, the weekly limit that you have from doing and killing bosses in the raids. So this is basically exclusive. If you want to get an extra piece with bullions, you have to do this quest this week or it's gone. So uh, make sure to pick that. Very, very important. And then the other important part uh, to, to pick up is your talents to CC the Incorporeal. As this week is going to be tyrannical, incorporeal and spiteful. Now uh, it's relatively bad week you know that i'm not a fan of incorporeal it's very bad ethics especially in pugs so uh make sure whatever talent you have pick it up it's it's very important because even if you have like somebody who is seeing the mobs uh, full time they can mix something something could go wrong and you need to be the backup because if the incorporeals go off it's basically a wipe uh which makes it one of the most uh nasty affixes out there if you're not doing tense you're not going to see the spiteful but if you are then be aware that your melee is going to get hit and you should be very careful healing them up don't get angry and any kind of stun slows you can get to, to help them run away from them are going to be very very helpful now it's also going to be tyrannical which means that the bosses are going to be hitting harder be prepared for longer fights and especially for like the last boss in Arkut, uh be prepared to have like defenses when he charges you etc as he's going to do a lot of damage uh, other than that i took a small break uh but i did manage to get keys on my shaman and my monk and one key on all the uh, other olds um so uh i still haven't pushed on the shaman i have run a, a few tents with the guildies just because they wanted to warn me to help them but uh i'm just waiting to get here i already have four piece uh which is great but we're starting to get to the 520 uh mark basically where you could be kind of calm that your gear is uh, up to date uh, i was actually very lucky on my shaman as you can see i have uh, all the pieces at hero level i think except one maybe i need a better trinket uh, but and better rings but other than that i already have my weapon and i think today i'm going to open as enhancement because i have irido i got very lucky on um uh, on this uh doing uh, hard mode dawn of the infinite i have my uh omnius chromatic essence i'm going to buy my other trinket with bullions so basically there's no healing gear that would be a huge upgrade for me so uh i think i'm just gonna fish for one of the enhancement weapons or trinkets and if not, we're just gonna pick up uh, whatever piece we get. Alrighty, let's see what we have this week. We did uh, two mythic bosses. The reward for that is Waste, which is Versatility Low Mastery. Um, basically the same belt that we have right now. Not a fan, Haste. Oh my god, we have the, the Smolder and Trinket drops, boys. After a whole season, the freaking Trinket drops. But uh, I'm not even playing enhancement right now for... Oh my god, this is so bad. Alright, so these are very good for enhancement. Haste Mastery, Heavy Mastery. Uh, we can upgrade our chest, which is also Haste Mastery, to uh, mid-level. And we have a weapon. It's Crit Verse, though. It's Crit Verse. I don't know if I take this. Because uh, it's like very bad stats for enhancement. Um, it's basically the worst possible stats for enhancement. So maybe I just wait for uh, better options with the bullets because I think I have two weapons. I actually have this twice. I have another weapon somewhere. Um, actually, this one is not unique equipped anyway, so I can have two of these. So this is not going to be one of them. It's 522 already, so that's going to be a small upgrade. I think it's either the boots. I hate you, game. I hate you so bad. I was waiting for this trinket whole season long last season never dropped uh finally the the boss dropped it but of course i didn't go to the shaman uh it went to somebody else 
<sighs> it's also hero level, so I think we should take advantage of just uh, uh, upgrading our boots to 5.22 and having the best stats for... Uh, for... Um, enhancement. Yeah, I think that's the play. I don't need to seem that. That's going to be the biggest upgrade for enhancement. Uh, it's not bad for rate healing. Although we might be crafting boots for uh, our second embellishment as restoration. We can craft the Venom Stompers. So that basically solves the boot situation for both enhancement and uh, restoration. Oh my god, I'm so angry that this drop. It's, it's just not fair. It's just not fair. Alright, uh, we're going to equip these right now. Uh, okay, let's do that. And then let's log out. Alright, as I said, I played all the oats. Uh, I'm going to leave the monk for dessert as I have a lot of uh, vault pieces there. Uh, that I'm going to be getting. So let's start with the Pali and the um, priest. I don't remember, I, I might have run, uh, I've run LFR on several oaths just to get the bullions and I can buy something with them. Uh, if you're lucky they can drop from the very first boss that you kill and you can get out of there. So that's something that I recommend you doing, specifically on all of your alts. It's very quick and then you get a bullion piece, right, that you can upgrade. Um, I'm not sure if I did it on all the characters, but I know I run normal rate on my evoker because I like rate healing on the evoker. But um, my item level was not high enough to actually apply to some heroics. Right, we get this. Uh, let's check loot spec. I guess retribution is fine. I don't care. I don't care. It's probably only one piece here. And this. Oh my god. Rumbling ruby. Okay, that's actually not good. Uh, crit mastery. It's a ring. It's an upgrade. It's going to be upgrade ab ab above uh, our four, even a 489. Yeah, we're picking this up, boys. We're picking this up. One other thing. Uh, those tokens. Now, the sockets cost three of them, not six. So, basically, even if you don't have full vault, uh, you can uh, actually get something. You know, you can get a socket with uh, two vault slots and picking up four um, tokens. So, that's a good upgrade, I think. Because uh, I had way too many times where I had, like, Two or four tokens sitting in my bags, so nothing I can do with them. So, uh, right now, if you have three, you can buy a socket. Finally, some uh, good quality of life updates. You know, long overdue. The vault is also long overdue to, to have some kind of remake, but apparently, they're not in a hurry to do that. They actually like the vault, whatever that means. Maybe because people were using it, they're like, oh, this is so good, but you know. Uh, yeah, people are using it because they don't have an option, not because they like it. Anyways, we get a shoulder, okay, and we get, uh, we don't, we, we're not looking at this. Uh, it's what, feet. Okay, so we're picking up the shoulder. Uh, I don't know, I, oh, I actually have this. So I can get four piece on my, my priest. Uh, I'm going to convert the shoulders. I have the hat. Oh, by the way, you have three charges this week. You have three charges of the um, catalyst. So basically, you need one more piece in order to uh, get four piece. And the easiest way to get that is get 2000 uh, I rating on your characters, which could be relatively easy now if you've done dungeons in the first two weeks. Or you can kill the heroic uh, last boss, which also drops the same token. So uh, from that perspective, it should be... Almost guaranteed to have a 4 piece tier set bonus. Of course, keep in mind that if you're using the catalyst, you do need to have the pieces to put into the catalyst. So if you want to catalyst shoulders, you need to have shoulders from this season that dropped in M plus or something, so you can uh, catalyst them. But other than that, three charges is actually a lot. It's it's basically free tier. Although, like my oats, I haven't reached 2k on all of them. Actually, I think I only have 2k on my monk and my shaman, so uh, it is what it is. Alright, uh, let's make sure we're not in some weird spec here. Druid. Maybe we get lucky on the druid as well. And we get a two-handed staff, which is good because it's our weapon upgrade. It's crit mastery, but... 
it's gonna be better than whatever we have. Maybe save a boolean on the weapon. Maybe not. We'll see how it is. Uh, let me just put it over here. With the gear that we're keeping up to basically change everything up. I'm not picking up the quest just so uh, I can go fast through the video. But as I said, don't forget to do that. It's very important. And of course, once you pick it up, make sure to run four dungeons on each of your characters so you can get the free booleans. You can spend them later, but you have to do the quest this week. Although I wouldn't recommend spending them later. I actually have a video on my main channel on uh, the best healing trinkets that you can buy with booleans. So you can go and watch that if you want. And before we get to the monk, uh, the evoker is something that I'm planning to play a little bit this season. If not... If nothing else, just uh, at least in raid. Okay, preservation sounds good. Uh, we should have some raid slots from normal. Which we do. Oh, we got a smoldering trinket. Oh, we got a chest. Oh my god, so many things. And then we got a haste mastery neck. Now, this is not a bad neck, but I think uh, I'll have to pass on it. Because it's low mastery. If it was high mastery, I would take it. Because it's hero level, of course. Oh, this is tempting, but not tempting enough, I think. So, um, we can just pick up one of the champion, but it's champion level, man. This is so bad. Why is this 493? And those are 499. Am I missing something? The first? Okay, whatever. We don't care. Um, yeah, maybe I pick this up. Let me check. Uh, what kind of items do we have? We are missing gloves. Um, so yeah, I think... I think I'm gonna pick up the chest so I can get the four piece relatively quickly. Because I can catalyst three items. And then, yeah, we're gonna have uh, hope for better luck. Um, we're gonna hope for better luck next time. Alright, let's put this here. And then... What we are left with is the monk. The monk has, I think, um, all the dungeons done. And I had four slots, two slots for uh, 8 plus, which is mythic track level gear. And one slot for the heroic, which is below uh, plus 8s. So, uh, let's hope that... It's not going to be a disappointment, this one. I didn't manage to run everything last week that I wanted to. Because Easter was here, actually. So, uh... Um, so, yeah. Alright, Mistweaver, let's go! Um, okay. So, we have lights. Actually, my monk has four piece here already. So, that's good. Uh, I don't like this trinket, although it's going to be huge upgrade. Um, one hand sword. Sword. Nope. Nope. Mm, nope. Alright, so basically we can upgrade this to mythic level, or we can pick a bad trinket. Which is probably going to be better than our music box overall, because it's a lot of intellect. Hmm... Um, in the long run, this is better, but also it's worth noting that my legs have avoidance on them. So even if I upgrade this in the long run, I'm losing the avoidance and it's 500 avoidance. While this is not something that I'm going to play with until the end of the season, but it is the biggest upgrade right now. So I might just throw a little bit and take the trinket. Because uh, I like the avoidance, honestly. And this is going to be like two upgrades. Or what is this? Six item levels upgrade. This is like a, a lot. This is going to be like almost 40. Yeah, I think I'm going to throw a little bit. Not the vote that I wanted to see. But uh, better than nothing. So uh, yeah. Oh. The usual disappointment is here, boys. This is what happens in uh, vote. So uh, hopefully you have better luck. Hopefully uh, you enjoy this week running M+, because uh, next week, or a little bit after next week, uh, reset, we are going to be getting the uh, Pandemonium thing, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. I personally am going to play a lot, just because I didn't play a lot, uh, actually I didn't play at all, back in Mists. Alright, 
I'll see you in my main channel in the next video. Good luck, take care, and I'll get out of here.